Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I am Dan. And uh, do you see what this is? This is a Pauper Daily. I've been asked by you guys to play more Pauper Dailies. Uh, I often have a scheduling problem. Uh, they are on awkward hours. They are often like this, uh, 6.30 on a Sunday morning. Uh, and I'm not sure why I'm awake. <laughs> Uh, or they are very late in the evening, but I'm a morning person, so I play better in the morning. I play better at 6.30 than 10.30 in the evening. So I'm gonna play here. And uh, here is our favorite uh, popper player, Deluxikov. He has no idea I'm in this tournament because I am playing on another account. Uh, I am Fluffy Grizzly in this tournament. And I just joined the Limited Resources Clan, the biggest clan on Magic Online, uh, hosted by the fantastic podcast Limited Resources. Uh, it's still a while before this tournament starts. Uh, I am playing uh, Trinket. It's the deck that I have played the most. Uh, getting close to 500 games of personal experience with 500 matches with the deck. I feel quite comfortable with it. Uh, I When I play, I have my sideboard plan, you know, the secret sideboard plan that you can't look at. Uh, sadly, because that was one of the conditions of the Dex creator. But it is here. Flash! Haha, <laughs> that was the secret plan. Um, and there are detailed sideboarding options. They have not taken into account the fourth Guts verdict that is now in the deck. I have taken out the guild gates for the tournament. Uh, they are there's still one or two guild gates in the deck when I'm testing, but I don't like them very much, and they will probably leave the deck. So, uh, and I think the meta game as it looks right now, I was so afraid of this new world uh, without storm and infect, both of which were. Good matchups for Trinket. But now we. Uh, but the meta now is not that bad. As I thought. Why are the three water whispers like this? Hmm, weird. Okay. Uh, meta game. I have something for you here. This is the Pauper Metagame page at MTG Goldfish slash Metagame slash Pauper. And these are the most prevalent decks in the format. Mono Blue Fairies. Uh, Blue Black Trinket has an excellent uh, Delver matchup. It's highly favorable, but it's not as good as its affinity matchup. And the affinity matchup is just incredible. I know of no other deck that has as good a um, matchup against Affinity as Blue Black Trinket Control. Is it post the hard deck to beat? Uh, the deck you really need to practice with Blue Black Trinket. And I am just not as good as Power T, the guy who made Blue Black Trinket Control. He beats Is it post all the time. Uh, I am now probably 50 50 against it. Stompy, also a deck we're 50 50 against. Uh, Goblins is slightly better. Hexproof, we have eight edict effects, so hexproof will have troubles. Uh, I still don't really know about uh, the temporal fisher decks. I haven't played them too much. Uh, we just crush elves. Uh, elves don't enjoy crypt threats and all the removal we have so the critical elves will die and everybody else will get crypt rapid so elves are just a joke basically you saw me beat me post last game <laughs> wow infect is number 12 <coughs> my god it is number 12 i thought infect were dead and buried uh infect is the very, very best matchup of all for Blue Black Trinket Control. In fact, just cries blub when uh, you play four Fume Spitters, three Tragic Slips, and eight Edict Effects. <laughs> That's just good night, sleep well for In fact. 
So I think um, none of the decks we really fear are uh, in the meta game right now. So uh, yeah, uh, it's looking good. Let's see what happens. And we are off. This guy. Oh. <laughs> okay, we are actually playing the Luxikov. And I would feel bad if I didn't tell him who I was. Except that he told me that uh, you have to use every weapon there is. Okay, I got Sign in Blood, I got uh, Crypt, uh, Crypt Rats. So I'm good. Adrian, hello! Okay, <laughs> I have his deck list here. And I know. What the f Okay, I didn't expect land grant. So he reveals his hand. It contains. <laughs> He's playing elves. That surprised me. Okay, that's just a bunch of elves. Well, time certainly won't be a factor then. Uh, and there is no one who can stop. Uh, there is no one who can stop the Crypt Rats. He doesn't have any defense against the Crypt Rats now. And I even have Grim Harvest. It's the Green Soul Sisters. Uh, more elves. Elves of more elves. So he's going to play one more elf and then one more elf. Queen Ranger could probably do pretty broken stuff. And I think it would be fairly. I'm going to miss uh, Echo in the K in my sideboard. Okay, that's probably the last elf. So I will get to fire for one you then. Is that the case? <laughs> all is healed, all is healed. Well, I guess I take five. He plays the Neftal Sentinel. He must have something. And the Queer Ranger. What is there to protect them from Crypt Rats? Is, is he making a bet with someone or what is he doing? Why is he still playing all his cards? W what is there to stop him from... It doesn't matter if he has a hundred lives if he has an empty hand and no elves. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty scared right now. Actually, uh, I'm gonna do it on my turn because if he has some weird trick, uh, it'll happen. Yeah, I don't want him to boost these guys on his turn, so I'm killing them all. Okay, I should be <laughs> very well off now. Uh, being able to one for one all these guys. What what was that? And 
27 for one. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna get a land. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I think I won this. I am gonna admit who I am after this game. Oh, Timberwatch Elf, you're a bit late to the party, aren't you? Uh, so we are edicting him. Throwing some cards. Throwing some more cards. And attacking. Well, I think I have him under control. There is a long way to walk now. I don't have anything relevant in my graveyard yet, except Crypt Threats, of course. But I don't think I'm gonna need to use Crypt Threats here again. Because it's all now just about one for one in his guys. But I'm never counting Deluxikov out. He is one tricky bastard. Okay, now maybe I'm counting him out. He's just wasting my clock here. Because he would like to win on time. And that's why I'm not telling him who I am. Because I, he has taught me that. If you're in a fight, you gotta win it. And I still need to put him down. Uh, I am playing the uh, Terramorphic Expanse here. Because I want to... I want to uh, get lands out of my deck. If I'm talking less, it's because I'm worried about time, because time is a very important factor in this tournament. But now my clock is getting quicker. I'm picking up the Baron more. And there was a mistake from my side. He's gonna. I I have no idea what he's gonna board. He's so clever with his sideboard that it's scary. Okay, eight to turn. Timber watch. Mr. Timberwatch, I will kill you. Yeah. Okay. So we have to think back to the plan. This is why we have the plan. Against elves. We want a life staff. And this is one cyber plan that has not changed. That I haven't changed it since. Um, We don't want Ogre of Skulls, because he doesn't do much. So do we rather want Chittering or, uh, or Verdict? And I th think it's got to be Chittering. They used to be um, the case, Echoing the Cave. did I do now? Okay, what did I, uh, didn't I take out? I took out four augers. I put in life staff, one combe, and two verdicts. What? Two, 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 four. Okay, I can't 
bring in chittering, of course. But I still think they're better than the verdicts. Or are they? <sighs> Not sure. I'll do a half-ass thing. No, I'm gonna keep two verdicts in the deck. Let's do this. Okay. This is a hand with all the mana I ever wanted. And I don't have the Echoing the case, and I think I need to play this. I need to play this and I need to sign in blood to find removal. Um, it's very, very slow, so there's a, l there's a huge chance of getting overrun. Uh, I, sti I think it's, it's too slow, I have to send it back. Um, I gotta keep that one. It's even slower, but it was worth a shot. This is so much his deck because everything costs one or two. And now he will get, he will crush me. Mm, obviously, Shitting Rat, it's not a great include, but it's, it's got to be better than Ogre Skulls. So he will probably empty his hand now. He's much dangerous, more dangerous when he starts. There's the Burslow Rangers and now he will really be able to play a lot of cards. I wonder what kind of elf list he's using. This is his last. 4-0 uh, list. This is his last results here on mtgostats.com. So he hasn't made he haven't made a result with elves yet. I think he must have listened to the last Popper to the People episode where they talked about elves. Uh, I'd love a tragic slip or something so I can take off the Burslow Ranger. Uh, should he have liked? Oh, okay, yeah, he did. Okay, I'm being super slow. I think the right play is the Chittering Rattler if he has any card in hand. But I doubt he will. And then the Trinket Mage, that way I don't miss a land drop. And I get closer to Triple Maldrifter here. That can draw me out of anything. What do the Elf deck bring in? That's a really good question. But I know that he is not going to look at other people's cyborgs list a lot. Uh, he will make his own very informed decisions and it will not be reactive cards. Well, I don't feel quite dead yet. Looking for random elf decks in the dailies. I'm at the mercy of the elves here. Distant melody is gonna suck. I'm gonna kill the Burshall Ranger here. I think he's the source of all bad things in the world. Although it also reduces his uh, power to Distant Melody. And now, of course, I'm gonna trade. I'm 
with this dude. Pretty safe actually. Okay, uh, now the shittering rat will be a pain for him. <laughs> I couldn't resist uh, that fairy macabre. And I'm going to go to town next turn. But not this turn. And sometimes when tournament players play, one guy always has the other guy's number. There are people you just lose to every time. And I don't know why that is, but I seem to be the Luxicoy's nemesis. Even if we are playing decks that are well matched, I always end up doing quite well. Okay, is it time to go to town? I think it is time to go to town. And now begins an endless stream of Muldrifters. Maybe I should kill off some elves. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm gonna kill off his entire team now. There will be... Who is that? I should know who that is. God. Elf Morph. Why don't I know the elf? <sighs> Let's make the mistakes he wants me to make here. Who was it? Oh, it was the Burslow Rangers. They can be morphed. Huh? Shows you how much noob I am. Well, I got this under control, so let's kill every elf. tempted to just keep casting Muldrifters, but I can take out them all and the world will be a safer place without elves. Like Elrond, Galadriel, Legolas, they're all in the dump. The dumpster maybe is the more politically correct term. None of them has any toughness. So let's just murder them all. Uh, tragic slip on the Burslow Rangers. And this is another reason. If Elves is big in the meta game, then uh, Blue Black Trinket Control is a pretty good deck to choose. It's Timberwatch. I'm so tempted just to murder him, but. Uh, now we really have to start playing some Muldrifters. Mm. 
Hopefully we'll find something nice to play, yeah, that, that's something nice. Okay, we can actually win this turn, right? <laughs> Thermocast, yeah. That was a given. And with the verdict we can win. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, Dan at Magic Gathering Star playing the first round of this daily, just crushing the Luxicoy. Now I have some explaining to do. Thank you for watching.